Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate and also objectively measure the elevated black level issue on an iPhone 12 Pro when you set the brightness on the phone itself too low. So my tool of choice is going to be the Client Instruments K10A colorimeter. Now this has been specced by the manufacturer to be able to read a luminance level of down to 0 0.00006 candelas per square meter. <laughs> That's a lot of zeros. Just like, you know, Jeff Bezos' bank account following the pandemic. But the reason why it is able to read this low is because of the really large sensor. If you look at this girl here, it's just magnificent. But what I'm going to do now is to first set the brightness on this phone to a much lower level. So if I can click on display and brightness, currently I have the brightness set at 50%, but if I drop it all the way to zero, it will look almost black to you on the screen because my camera exposure is set for the colorimeter and also earlier when the brightness of the phone was 50%. But if I actually switch off my studio light, and then what I'm going to do is to increase the camera exposure. And hopefully you can see now that my phone screen is still on. You know, it's just very, very dark. And because I had to widen my lens aperture to be able to capture this dark detail without having to resort to increasing ISO, which will also increase video noise, the image, the footage may look out of focus to you, so please forgive me for that. But hopefully I can use my colorimeter to demonstrate to you that the black level is indeed elevated if you have set the brightness too low. So I'm going to get out from the screen and then go into files and play a fulfill black slide that I've loaded. This black slide is from the Ryan Masiola test disk. So if I actually play it, and if I can actually use my colorimeter, I'll switch on the studio light very quickly. So I'll use my colorimeter. It is overexposed for now, but you know I'm going to read the black level here. And you can see from the client software that I'm recording now, it is reading a luminance level of 0.0003 nits, which means that there is still some light that is coming out from the screen. And even though this may not be much, you know, it is still enough for most people to detect it because of how the dark adaptation of our pupils work. You know, even the slightest bit of light will be detected if it is not, you know, black. So what I'm going to do now is to get out from here and then we are going to increase the brightness to the maximum. Right? We are going to increase the brightness to the maximum and it may look overexposed to you now on the camera, but that's okay. So if I can lower the camera exposure, right, and then if I can switch on my studio lights and let you see, I'm going to place my, I'm going to play the same file and then place my Clang K10A colorimeter there. And press done. Press OK. It is reading zero nits, which means that you know, there is no light being emitted on screen, which means that all the OLED pixels are being switched off correctly when you have set the brightness to the highest on the phone itself. Let me switch on the lights and then adjust the exposure because I think you know this is going to be more helpful for everyone. And then if I can bring this up, and you know maybe just adjust the brightness to 50 percent so that everyone can see it clearly so hopefully you know this little demonstration this little video has shown to you that the iphone 12 pro is not capable of delivering true blacks you know it cannot switch off all its pixels in terms of the oled you know when the brightness is set to 
too low, say to 0%. And some of you may think that it is quite unrealistic for people to set the brightness down to zero. But I know some people who do do that, you know, when they are actually in bed, you know, they are trying to drift off to sleep and maybe they just want to watch some TikTok or whatever. So they drop the brightness of their phone to a very low level with no lights on because that's more comfortable to the eye. So I think, you know, this is why some people started noticing that, you know, the iPhone 12 Pro can't actually switch off its OLED pixels completely when the brightness is set too low. And this not only affects the iPhone 12 Pro, I believe that, you know, it affects even the iPhone 12 mini. Any of the phones from Apple this year with an OLED display, it will be affected because, you know, my kind colleague, Mr. Daniel Rota from Zone of Tech, you know, fantastic YouTube channel. He's based in Manchester as well. And he has a few iPhones because his YouTube channel specializes in phones. And I think, you know, he has mentioned that there is this problem on every single one of his iPhones in terms of the 2020 OLED models. So I think to see it, you will need, you know, a couple of things to be right. So if you don't want to find out whether your iPhone 12 Pro or iPhone 12 Pro Max or iPhone 12 or iPhone 12 mini has this problem, then maybe you would like to just stop now and don't listen further about how to discover this problem because sometimes ignorance is bliss. It's just like, you know, when I advise people on buying OLED, you know, some OLED owners, they just like to torture themselves. They put up like 1% slides just above black to see some vertical streaks and bending and no consumer OLED can avoid that. And once you see it, you cannot unsee it and maybe this will be the same for you. If you haven't encountered this problem, then don't go looking for it. But if you want to see whether your phone is affected by this problem, you know, it's very easy. I shall tell you how. The first condition is that, you know, you need to be in an absolutely pitch black room, you know, otherwise with even some ambient light around the slightly elevated black level, we're talking an elevation of just a 0.00 Zero three nits, which is very, very dark still. So even with the slightest of ambient light, you know, you may think that it is black. And then just try and put up, say, a full fill black slide or a full fill black video. It'll wait for all the icons and cursors and everything to go away. And then once your pupils start adapting to the darkness, then this is what we call dark adaptation in terms of the physiological response of our pupils, then you will see, I think, you know, most of you will see that your iPhone 12 or iPhone 12 Pro, or iPhone 12 Pro Max, you know, will be glowing in the dark. If you set the brightness of your phone to, let's say, the minimum level or just slightly above minimum, say 10%, 20%, then it will start glowing. Now, let me know whether, you know, if you manage to run this test, if you have the courage to run this test on your iPhone 12, then, you know, let me know in the YouTube comment section below whether you're affected. And I sincerely hope that this is a software issue that can be fixed by Apple to certainly deliver the promise of true blacks from OLED regardless of the brightness level of the phone. If you like to watch some of our other technical phone reviews in terms of the display. I've created a playlist here if you'd like to click on it and I will see you in the next video.